Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Bertram and welcome to my channel. This is my first video ever and I'm so nervous and excited and I'm probably going to look at the monitor like the whole time to make sure I'm in focus, but bear with me. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Bertram and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to get started. Uh, this was kind of my New Year's resolution is to start a channel. I've been wanting to start one for a long time, but never had the resource or uh, confidence to start one, so let's do it! <laughs> okay, so this video is going to be a full face using products that I loved in the year 2017. Some of these products did not come out in 2017, but it's what I discovered or most used in this year. So let's get started! So to prime my skin today, I will be using the Smashbox Primerizer. This had been a godsend ever since I started using it. The fact that it is both a primer and a moisturizer, I will always use that extra hydration. A um, honorable mention though for primers would be the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. That is another really good one. I especially like using that one in the summer when maybe I'm not as dry but I want kind of that extra boost of radiance in my skin, especially without makeup. It looks beautiful. Now that that's all in the skin and nice and smooth, go in with the Porefessional from Benefit. I do have very noticeable pores here in my T-zone and on my forehead I have a decent amount of texture that I'm mainly the most insecure about. So I just take like the smallest like pea size amount and just work in the product. Mm. So my winner for foundation would definitely be the NARS Sheer Glow. I'm the shade Fiji, but to add a little bit more coverage to my look today, I will be adding in the All Day Luminous Foundation from NARS as well, same shade, just to add a little bit extra coverage. I don't necessarily love this foundation on its own. It's It kind of cakes up in my smile lines here, but mixed in with other foundations, I find it to be really beautiful. And I love this one on its own. I love um, doing everyday makeup with this. I find it to be a more of a medium coverage. Don't be thrown off by the name Sheer. The only thing I do not like about the NARS Sheer Glow is that it doesn't come with a pump. I find that I tend to over pour. I'm just pouring that on the back of my hand. Also, this sponge is amazing. I know it's dirty. Um, it's the Eco Tool sponge. This was the limited edition holiday one, but the green, the dark green one also is amazing. Okay, so now that foundation is on, we are going to hop into concealer. So I have two favorites in particular, and one is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have the shade Vanilla, and then the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in the shade Light. Now this one in particular is really good for just everyday or no makeup makeup looks. I use this just to kind of help with the dark circles, but it is a very hydrating concealer, so if you do have oily skin, I do not recommend this one. I just noticed that this one, and even when I use the Tarte Shape Tape, um, which is my honorable mention, <laughs> uh, I notice it can be sometimes a little drying, especially in the winter months, so I kind of do a concoction of both. But I especially put this one in my inner corners because this color is a little bit brighter. I know this is a little excessive, but I'm doing it to highlight. The only thing I do notice about the bare skin one is that the shade light is a hair dark. It's almost like the shade, it's pretty much the shade of my foundation. So again, for every day it's not bad, but when I want to brighten, I should have gotten fair. But I feel like fair would have been too pink. So for setting the under eyes, I will be using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Under Eye Powder. And then I just use 
a small fan brush kind of like this and a little bit of this product goes such a long way. I will then be going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is an absolute favorite of mine. I am noticing, especially in the winter months, it's a little matte. So I very, very lightly press this on the skin. But I use very little product just because I don't want to dry out my skin. Now for contouring and bronzing the face, hands down it goes down, it goes to the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. I finally got it this year after being told again and again how much I would love this palette. I just had had other contour palettes, so I was like, oh, I don't need it, I don't need it. But then, like, oh, girl, you can tell how much I've like beaten this up. These, yeah, these these two shades in particular, and then that yellow shade is everything. Be taking the lightest shade. Still going in with that lighter tone shade with a the e.l.f. Expert Face Brush. It's just a little bit bigger and a little less concentrated. That's when I lightly contour on my forehead. So then for bronzer today, I'm going to be using the NARS Diffuse Light uh, Bronzer in Laguna. I love a good matte bronzer. I was using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer for a while, but I wasn't necessarily in love with it. It was just kind of an okay bronzer. This is just like the perfect wash of color, and especially when I'm not in the mood to contour, this is the perfect one. I just really don't like shimmery bronzers. Maybe I will be in like two years, but I just definitely prefer the look of a matte bronzer. For blush today, it hands down goes to the Tarte blush in the shade Party. <laughs> Why did I say? Well, there's a lot of A's in it. <laughs> uh, I accidentally broke it and I'm devastated about it. I got it as my Sephora birthday gift and it is the perfect nudie blush color that goes with every single look. I have fallen in love with the Amazonian Clay formula. I definitely want to get more shades. This is especially good for people who don't love blush but want to warm up the face really nicely. They have other colors too that are beautiful. For highlighter today, I will be using the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I absolutely fell in love with this palette. <sighs> so I mainly use the shades um, Summer and Moonstone here. I mainly use the shades Summer. I just prefer a little bit more of a golder tone highlighter. So we are going to zoom you guys in as we do brows and eyes. So for brows today, I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. There we go. So then to finish it off, we will be using the Anastasia um, Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. Just because I'm going for that super like wispy brow look. Ugh, hair. Now that we are done with brows, let's go on in with the eyes. That was weird. <laughs> For primer today, I will be using the Smashbox Lid Primer. Oop, that's backwards. 
I use the shade light. I like it because it kind of color corrects at the same time. Mm -hmm. I just use just the tiniest bit. If you are fairer than I am, I do know people have been complaining that it is a little dark. So if you still want to try a good lid primer, um, the Smashbox lid primer in the silver tube is uh, see-through and really good as well. There we go. Just set that with the secret brightening powder again. So for eyeshadow today, um, I picked the Jaclyn Hill palette. It is completely destroyed. That's the, the only downside I feel like is the packaging can get dirty super, super easily. Um, and I already broke a shade too. <clears throat> like look at, <laughs> I tried to clean it. And that poor shade is just dead. <laughs> I tried to do the whole alcohol thing. And I mean, the pigment is still there. It's just not as pretty as what it used to be. And I just love, because I feel like a lot of shadow palettes, the out, like an outer shadow will break. Nope. Middle. It's fine. We'll be going in with this shade right here, just all over the lid. This is also a really good shade. To just like throw on your lids and go because it adds a little bit of depth but not to where it's like oh she got eyeshadow on we will be going in this shade right here okay, and then we'll go to that rusty brown shade right there going on where I want the most pigment Kind of tapping off the wrist because I got a little too much. I just said screw it and we're going to dip into the subculture palette because even though I do love this palette it's not really the look that I was kind of going for with this red sweater vibe. I'm also I just guys like these these colors are everything. Now we will be dipping into the shade fudge just really defining a V right here in my inner corner. Not my inner corner, my outer corner. It's a corner, I don't know. And just lightly tapping it. You can't even see what I'm doing. And now that I've laid down the pigment, sorry I'm super concentrated because I'm scared. Go in with a fluffier brush and just lightly work it in. Like, hello. Fudge is such a stunning color. I'm going to take another more detailed brush and I'm going to go into the shade edge here. And just lightly place this in my lower lash line. I love weird mustard yellow shades like this though. Like I can't do neons but weird pukey shades I'm all for. For liner today I will be using the NYX matte liner. I love it. Um, I also really love the Kat Von D tattoo liner and the Stila liner, but I noticed that this is probably <laughs> the blackest formula ever. The only thing I recommend for people is if you are a beginner, this brush can be a little hard to work with. Apparently that's the theme. I just love things that are hard to work with. <laughs> Look how black that is. then 
So, I liked how this turned out. Yay! For mascara today, I will be using two. So this has kind of become a recent favorite. This is the Tarte's Light Camera Lashes. For everyday use, I love the Benefit Roller Lash. So I kind of mix the two together for when I'm doing a fuller coverage look. I was going to use the NARS um, Power Matte Lip Pigments, but unfortunately the colors that I have don't really go with this eye look that I did. So for the liquid lip today, we will be using the Kat Von D Liquid Lip in the shade Bow and Arrow. So, it's become a favorite again. Just like that perfect brown tone nude. So to finish off the makeup today, I will be using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I know it's super expensive, but I really like this um, when sometimes I over powder or use a more mattifying foundation. This is a really great way to bring hydration back into the face. The only time I will use a more long wearing setting spray like the All Nighter from Urban Decay is when I'm going out and I want to make sure my makeup lasts more than, you know, six to eight hours. This is the completed look. I absolutely love it. Um, obviously, it's with all of my favorite products. Um, they're my ride or dies, especially of 2017. I'm so excited to see what comes into the makeup world in 2018. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm brand new and would love your support and your suggestions down in the comments below. Um, and until next time, see you guys.